This video aims to help you subtracting large numbers. So I want to share with you a very small poem. And this is a subtraction poem. It says, more on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get ten more. Numbers the same, zero's the game. And basically, what this means is you just need to look at the numbers that you're going to be subtracting. And follow these three rules and you'll find it very, very easy on to subtract. So let's have a look at that first rule. More on top, no need to stop. And basically what that means is if your top number is larger than the one below, like it is here, okay, so 8 to take away 4, 8 is greater than 4, so you don't need to stop, you just need to do normal subtraction. 8 take away 4 is 4, and 1 take away 1 is 0. It gives me an answer of 4. But if your number on the top of the column that you are subtracting is bigger, you don't need to worry about anything else, just do that column and subtract those numbers. Let's have a look at that second rule. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. This one gets a little bit complicated, but once you know what you're doing, it's very easy. So for example, I'm going to write the sum, or the subtraction, 163 take away 136. Now, let's look at the units column. It says 3 take away 6. Obviously, I know I can't do that one because 6 is larger than 3. So I need to go to the next column, or next door, and take away a 10. So I cross out the 6 and I change it to 5, because I've taken away a 10. And I move that 10 over to the units column, which makes it 13 take away 6. Now 13 take away 6 is going to give me 7. 5 take away 3 is going to give me 2. 1 take away 1 is nothing, or 0, so we don't need to do that one. So it is 27 left. Let's look at that final rule. Numbers the same, zero is the game. So I'm going to write out a question here. 1,783 take away 582. Okay, 3 take away 2. Numbers aren't the same, so it's going to be a normal uh, subtraction. More on top, no need to stop. 8 take away 8. Numbers the same, 0 is the game. 7 take away 5 is going to be 2. And then I've got my extra one in the thousands column. So if the numbers are the same in your columns, the answer is always zero. Now, here's something that my maths class has been finding quite tricky. What if the next column doesn't have anything for you to take it away from? Okay, then all you need to do is jump to the next column after that and then bring the tens back to the column that you'll be working in. So let me show you an example. Zero take away six. Can't do that one, so I need to go to the next column. But oh no, there's nothing in this column. So I need to go over to this hundreds column and start taking away some numbers. So I'm going to change the 5 to a 4, and I'm going to make that one a 10. I'm going to change that to a 9, because I'm going to move that final one over to the units column. So now I have 10 take away 6, which gives me 4, 9 take away 4, which gives me 5, and 4 take away 2, which gives me 2. So my final answer is 254. So every time you're going to have to go to the next column until you have something to work with, until you have a 10 in your column. And this method works for any number, even decimal numbers. Okay, so remembering our, our poem from earlier, 3 take away 2 is going to give me 1, 1 take away 0 is going to give me 1, don't forget to put your decimal point in. Lots of people forgot that. 6 take away 8. Okay, I can't do that, so I need to go to the next column. Let's change that to a 1. Okay, so now it's 16 take away 8. Gives me 8. 1 take away 3. Can I do that? No, I can't. I need to change that to a 0. And now it's now 11. 11 take away 3, which gives me an answer of 8. And then I have nothing else in that column, so my final answer is 88.8. One, one. I hope this helps and your homework this week will be subtracting some large decimal numbers. Good luck.